it's me Naharika and welcome to Skillopedia, the place to learn skills for the real world. Well, have you experienced rejection at work? Well, you can experience rejection for many reasons. And they all have one thing in common. Well, being rejected is painful. But many instances of rejection are opportunities for learning too. Actual rejection and feelings of rejection occur in a variety of work-related situations. In fact, rejection comes from big and small events and activities. Well, rejection can hit you unexpectedly. And when do you receive rejection? Well, if you're not selected for an important assignment, yes failed to receive an invitation to a popular co-workers party, turned down for a date by an attractive colleague, but probably lost a sale to a competitor, or maybe didn't receive the expected salary, or criticized for errors in front of all your colleagues. So how do you deal with such situations? Well, I'm going to help you with some tips. So let's learn to deal with rejections effectively at work. Well, let's look at the first thing. Well, control your emotions. Yes, that is important. You didn't get a promotion you were wanting for very long. What do you do? Go run to your boss and fight on top of your lungs? That, hey, why didn't I get that promotion? Sure, you feel bad, but you won't receive reasonable feedback from a co-worker or boss if you cry through the meeting. If you're angry and you display your anger in the conversation, you will experience the same. If you argue, deny, blame, attack the person giving you a feedback, well, you are not going to receive a true feedback. And worst of all, your boss or co-workers will feel manipulated by your emotions. And this is never a positive factor for your performance. Yes. Well, take opportunities when you are rejected. And that is important. So, please control your emotions. So, here's the second tip for you in order to deal with rejection at work. Well, talk to a trusted colleague or manager or your supervisor. Yes, this is not the time to be dramatic and show that you can't handle life. Find a member whom you can talk about your issues. And the person you want is the one who will tell you straight. They can help you sort out on what went wrong. They can also make sure that you stay on track with your grieving period. Avoid getting on social media to air your issues. The internet never forgets. And when you're trying to get that amazing new job, your employer, employer might just check the internet and see that you can't handle rejection. Yeah. So no matter how upset or angry you are, don't complain too much. Don't start um, talking about rejection every time you meet your friends. And if you think you have gone overboard, make sure to ask them that, hey, am I just complaining too much? And if they say yes, please adjust accordingly, okay? So go find someone who can, you know, help you out with your issues and do not complain and crip all day long. So here's the next thing that would help you to deal with rejection. Well, don't let it define you. Remember that the rejection says nothing about you as a person. Getting rejected is just part of life and it's not a personal attack. Fail fast and get over it. Remember that rejection is something that happens to everyone, even the most successful people. Mentally strong people know that rejection serves as proof that they're living life to the fullest. They don't make these, you know, generalizations when they are rejected. 
if one company turns them down for a job, they don't declare themselves that, oh, we have failed. Or, you know, a single rejection will not just put them down. No one is perfect. And that's the beauty of it. Keep things in perspective and remember that you're much more than a project or even a career. Take a positive action to develop or change the areas about which you received feedback, right? So don't let it define you. Here's the next one and pretty interesting one. Well, celebrate it and move on. We all celebrate success, right? Well, success equals to happiness, isn't it? But hey, let's do something different. I believe that if you always succeed, well, you're probably not innovative and you're not pushing that envelope. So consider your rejections and failures as success. Rejections help you to do better in life. Celebrate trying to do something differently. That should really help. Think about all the positives that you experience and just go ahead, celebrate them. Keep yourself going forward. You know, thinking about the past rejections. Well, you will be in your past forever and you won't enjoy your present. For example, if you keep thinking about the number of times you were rejected for jobs, you're going to have a hard time sending out your resumes and pursuing different jobs. So it's time for you to celebrate your failure and just move on. Take it as an opportunity and don't let down yourself. So what's the next thing that can help you to deal with rejection? Well, lead by example. Yes. Rejection is generally not about one person. It often impacts an entire team. In situations where a major client leaves an agency or an important pitch which is rejected, the team looks to their leadership to get a sense of whether it's a disaster or it's a moment to pick up yourself. Well, yes. So just go ahead. Always choose the latter not the former, and show your team how to handle rejection gracefully and move on. And here's the next thing that you can do. Well, learn from rejection. That's the most important thing. Mentally strong people ask themselves that, what did I gain from this? So they can learn from rejection. Rather than simply tolerating the pain, they turn it into an opportunity for self-growth. And with each rejection, they grow stronger and become better. Whether you learn about areas in your life that need improvement, or you just simply recognize that being turned down isn't that awful as you imagined. Trust me, then rejection can be a great teacher. Use rejection as an opportunity to move forward with more wisdom. So friends, any kind of rejection, no matter if it's in love, your career, your friends, a proposal or anything else, it should not be something that should affect your happiness. It is a healthy attitude to accept that rejection is a part of life and to acknowledge that what really matters is finding the way to bounce back and try again. So I hope you enjoyed this session with me today and I really look forward to be back with you soon. Till then, you take care and do not forget to subscribe to our channel, Skillopedia, the place to learn skills for the real world.